Hey, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. So today is a Tuesday and we are going to check about the platform. That is the first thing that we're going to check. So this is the class of tonight, how to use Simple Present for scheduled activities. And uh, this is the question for tonight. Also, remember that this is the exercise, the homework, number six. Este hay que hacerlo esta noche. Entonces, solo son cinco, five questions, and you need just to check what is the correct uh, question, the correct answer, actually. Okay. And we are going to check about the assistance, as usual. Okay, let me, let me just check here. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Presente, teacher. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domingos, eh, Domínguez Martínez. Sorry. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present teacher. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. Present teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Here I am. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Present. Okay. Present teacher. Good. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Okay, uh, let's continue then with the class. Solo un pequeño anuncio. Mañana no tendremos clase eh, por motivos de fuerza mayor. Eh, vamos a reiniciar el jueves. Jueves sí, mañana no. Y lo único que va a pasar es que las clases ya no van a terminar el lunes 19, sino que vamos a terminar el lunes 20 de diciembre. Eso es lo único, ¿ok? ¿Preguntas o dudas? Perfecto. No. Ok, very good. Entonces eso también le, lo vamos a poner ahí en el grupo, el WhatsApp, y también lo vamos a poner en... Um, eh, lo vamos a estar repitiendo al final de la clase, just in case. Ok. All right, uh, we are going to start then with the class. Vamos a iniciar con un pequeño video para que lo escuchemos, practiquemos escuchando y además uh, al final comentarios, comentarios de lo que entendieron, lo que no entendieron, lo, uh, lo que se dijo, cosas por el estilo. Let's see how it goes. Vamos entonces a escuchar el video. Hi, I'm Mike and welcome to Oxford Online English. In this lesson, you can learn how to talk about your job in English. Where do you work? What do you have to do in your job? What kind of company do you work for? In this class, you can learn how to answer questions like this in clear, detailed English. Ready? Let's start. Part one, introducing your job. I'm a, I work in, I work for. 
How would you complete these sentences? You could say something like, I'm a writer. I work in online education. I work for a publishing company. I work in is used with a field, meaning a type of work. So you can say things like, I work in finance. I work in digital marketing. You can also use work in with a place or a department of a company. For example, I work in the HR department of a financial firm. I work in a school teaching modern languages. Confused? You can see that if you use work in to talk about the type of work you do, you don't use an article like a or the. If you use an article, a or the, after work in, it means you're talking about the place or department where you work. I work for is used with a company. So you could say, I'm a salesman. I work for a mobile phone company. I work for a law firm based in Frankfurt. Or even, I run my own business, so I work for myself. What can you say? Can you make sentences like this to say something about your job? Pause the video and try and make a sentence. Say it aloud. Next, let's add more details to your answer. Part two, describing your company. I work for a company which... Look at this sentence. We need one adjective and the end of the sentence after which. Any ideas? For the adjective, think about these ideas. Is your company big or small, local or multinational? For the part after which, ask yourself, what does your company do? Does it make things, sell things, organize things? Does it provide products, services, or both? So you could say, I work for an international electronics company which makes tablet computers. I work for a German company which does market research for other companies. What if you don't work for a company? Here are some things you could say. I'm a freelancer, meaning I work independently for different people and companies. I'm self-employed, meaning I work for myself, either freelance or I have my own business. I'm a business owner. If you don't work and people ask you what you do, what can you say? Here are some useful phrases. I'm between jobs at the moment, meaning I've left one job and haven't found another yet. This sounds nicer than saying I'm unemployed. I'm taking some time out to travel, spend time with my kids, write a book, recover from an illness, etc. Meaning, I'm not working at the moment because I want to focus on something else. I'm retired. What about you? Do you work for a company? What can you say about it? If you don't work for a company, how would you describe your work situation? Part three, how to describe your job in more detail. So, what do you actually do all day? Let's see how you can describe your job in more detail. Look at these sentences. I have to, I'm responsible for, most of my time is spent. Let's do some examples together. We'll start with a simple example. I'm a nurse. I have to look after patients, give them medicine and make sure they're comfortable. I'm responsible for about 20 to 30 patients. Most of my time is spent talking to patients and checking that everything is okay. Next, let's do a more detailed example. I have to design websites to the client's specifications. I'm responsible for the whole design process. So I have to take the client's ideas and turn them into a finished product. Most of my time is spent experimenting with different designs and ideas and seeing what looks good. 
because attention to detail is important in this kind of work. Can you say something like this about your job and what you do? Try to add details if you can. Part four, saying how you feel about your job. Now, you can hopefully say something about your job and where you work. But here's another question. Do you like your job? Why or why not? Hopefully, you enjoy your job. How do you describe a job which you like? Of course, you could use general adjectives like good or interesting. But here are some specific adjectives you could use. Stimulating. Something which is stimulating is exciting and it gives you energy. Satisfying. Means that your job gives you a sense of achievement. Creative. You can use your imagination when you work. Rewarding. This means your job gives you very positive feelings. It's often used to talk about jobs in which you help other people. For example, teachers or nurses might describe their jobs as rewarding. Challenging. Challenging can be positive or negative, but if you use it to talk about your job, it would have a positive meaning. It means that your job is difficult, but in an interesting way, which makes you think and learn. What if you don't like your job? Again, you can use general words like boring or difficult, which are fine, but very basic. If you want to be more creative with your vocabulary, here are some things you could say. Exhausting. Describes work which makes you feel very tired, either physically or mentally. Thankless. If your work is thankless, no one notices or appreciates what you do. Mind-numbing. Extremely boring. Dead end. Describes a job which has no prospects for the future. If you have a dead end job, you will never get promoted and the job will always be the same. Soul destroying. Describes a job which is extremely unpleasant and boring and which you really, really hate. Part five, how to make a longer answer. At this point, you should be able to introduce your work, say where you work, give details about what you do, and say how you feel about your work. Let's make some longer sample answers together. First one. I'm a pharmacist. I started my own small pharmacy, so I'm also a business owner. I have to work as a pharmacist, of course, giving advice to patients and making sure they have the right medicine. However, I'm also responsible for the pharmacy, so I have to manage my staff, do the accounts and so on. It's stimulating work because I have to do many different things every day, so I never get bored. Clear? Could you make an answer like this? Let's do one more. I'm a writer. I work in online education. I work for a big publishing company which produces different educational materials that are used all around the world. I have to write lesson plans and materials for teachers to use in the classroom. I spend most of my time thinking about how I can make different things fit together into a lesson. It's very challenging work and it can be exhausting, but it's also very creative and satisfying because I know people all around the world are using lessons which I wrote. Okay, now it's your turn. Try and make a longer answer like this talking about your job. Use the vocabulary and structure from the lesson to help you. If you want, you can post your answer in the video comments on YouTube. We will give you some feedback on your answer. That is the end of the lesson. I hope you learned some new ways to talk about your job and what you do. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Ok, ¿qué entendimos? Esa es la primera pregunta.
¿Qué entendimos, compañeros? Pues habló de los diferentes tipos de trabajo, así como la farmacéutica. Ok, very good. Prácticamente está hablando de cómo hacer una breve introducción del de puesto de trabajo y a qué nos dedicamos en la empresa. Very good, very good. A qué nos dedicamos y cómo, qué hacemos en el puesto de trabajo. Good. ¿Alguna otra cosa? Teacher, no sé si me equivoqué, pero le entendí que también eh, daba clases. O me ah. equivoqué. Eh, sí, lo que pasa es que habla de varias, de varias, uh, como eh, jobs, ¿verdad? Como empleos. Entonces, okay. y habla de, de frases que podemos utilizar o expresiones que podemos utilizar. So, ¿Alguna otra? Muy, muy bien, Blanca Rosa. ¿Any other? Las expresiones positivas y negativas. Very good. Negative expressions and positive expressions. A veces, como decimos las cosas, es importante. Eso pasa en inglés y en español. ¿verdad? ¿Cómo lo vamos a decir? Very good. Este es un buen ejercicio, my friends. Es un muy buen ejercicio porque, eh, en primer lugar, escuchamos otra persona hablando. ¿verdad? Cuando ya tenemos dos, tres semanas de estar hablando con el teacher, ya sabemos más o menos cómo habla la pronunciación. Igual con los compañeros, ¿verdad? Aunque no nos hayamos conocido, de repente las tres semanas ya sabemos la intonation, la pronunciación, muchas cosas. Pero hablar o escuchar un video así es una buena idea. Eh, pueden ponerle subtítulos o algo por el estilo para ir conociendo. Pueden ver muchos vocabulario y hay, hay muchas cosas que se pueden aprender aquí. So, this is a very good uh, exercise that you can do whenever you have the time, ¿ok? Ok, ahora vamos a hacer un ejercicio muy interesante, este de lo mejor, es un reading, I really like readings. So, a job sure. list. Uh, hola. Are you sharing a screen? Because I don't watch the screen, I don't know why. Yo creo que es la configuración de su aparato, los demás pueden ver mi, eh, mi pantalla. Yes, I do. Yeah, yes. Yes. Entonces, allí en su pantalla tiene que buscar dónde está, en vez de, de verme a mí, tiene que buscar dónde está lo que se está compartiendo. O si no le sale, se sale de la, de la conferencia, mm -hmm. del Zoom y se vuelve a meter. Ok. Good. Ok. So, este es un ejercicio muy bueno. Mucho vocabulario, mucha práctica en este que vamos a hacer. Es a reading, una lectura. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Todas las lecturas las vamos a hacer igual. En primer lugar, yo digo y ustedes repiten. Pronunciation, ¿verdad? Luego, si tenemos pronunciation questions, ustedes me van a preguntar. Y luego van a leer ustedes. Eh, déjenme ver qué tan largo es. Sí, el, la primera persona va a leer el 1 y el 2. Y la última persona va a leer 3, 4 y 5. Así lo vamos a hacer. Aunque, déjenme ver. Sí, así lo podemos hacer. Está bien parejo. Entonces, eh, todos vamos a leer. Everybody's going to read. Entonces, igual yo lo voy a ir corrigiendo si hay alguna palabra que no se dice bien. Y luego vamos a chequear el vocabulario. Questions about the activity? No questions. Very good. So, let's check how it goes. Vamos a ver cómo, ya cómo nos toca. Yo digo y ustedes repiten. Everybody. Be a people person. Be, be a, a people, people person. person. Be a people person. North South is people. No. North South is people. people. And we are looking for managers. And we are and looking, we are looking for managers. Who like people. Who like people. Who like people. people. Who like people. You should be comfortable. You should be comfortable. 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 With conflict resolution. With conflict resolution. You should know. You should know. How people work. 
how, how people, people, people born. born. And now how? And now, and now, how, now how, how? To motivate your team. To motivate your team. If you are better with computers, if you are better with computers, computers than people, than than people, and understand Clinton, and understand, understand Clinton, Clinton, better than English, better than English. English. You are not a good fit for our managerial team. You are not a good for my team. Be a good communicator. Be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively. To communicate effectively. Using all methods. Using methods, including visual presentations, including visual presentations, public speaking, public speaking, email, email, teleconferencing, teleconferencing, and face to face. And face to face. Good communication is a two way street. Good communication is a two way street. You will be required. You will be required to routinely update. To routinely update your employees. Your employees, your employees on their and the team's performance on the and the team's performance you will communicate you will you communicate, will communicate any feedback any feedback from upper management from Management. Management. management 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 and customers and provide status and, and customers and, customers and, customers and, customers and, and provide status provide state. information when asked information, information when asked. 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 asked be technical proficient technical profession. The products we create. The products, the products we, create, we create. At Northshot. At Northshot. Are technically complicated. Are technically complicated. You don't need to be able. You don't you need, need to be able to code in C. To code in C. Plus. C, plus. C plus. But you should be able, but you you should be able, able, to, be able to give technical guidance. To give technical, give technical guidance, guidance. And decide the best strategies. And decide the best strategy and methods for success. And method for and no, having watched and no, having watched having watched Happy Feet or the March of the Penguins. Happy Feet, Happy feet March of Penguins. Does not qualify you. Does not qualify you as technically proficient in Linux. As technical proficient in Linux. Proficient in Linux. 
Proficient in Linux. Proficient in Linux. Encourage teamwork. Encourage, Encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important at Northshot. Not only are you required, not, not only, only are, are you required, required to encourage the best practices, to encourage the best practices for building teamwork. For, for building teamwork. You are considered a part of the team. You are, you are considered a part, part of the team. Part of team. We have no doors. We have we no doors. Have no doors. At North South. At, at North, at North South. For you to hide behind. You to hide behind. behind. In fact. In fact. In fact we have no traditional office. We have no traditional office. office. Space for managers. Space for managers. You are required. You are required to sit and work with your staff. To sit and work with your staff. Lead by example. Lead by, by example. The best managers. The best, the best managers. Lead by example at North South. Lead, lead, lead by example at North South. Not, 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 all not managers are required. All, all managers, managers are required, required to dress and act professionally. To dress and act professionally at all times, at all times, and to be available, and to be available, and to, be available, available to give guidance, to give guidance, to give guidance, and help when needed, and help when needed, when needed, leading by example. Leading by, Leading example, by example, example means working late. Means working late. late. And on weekends. And, and on the weekends. Weekend. With your employees. With, with your employees. Employees. Parking with your employees. Parking with your employees. Employees. And using the same washroom. And using the same washroom as your employees. As your employees. It's all about doing. It is all about doing. Instead of pontificating. Instead of pontificating. And doing the right thing. And then doing the right thing. Ok, estuvo bonito, largo. Entonces, vamos a ver. The, do you have questions on pronunciation? Preguntas en pronunciación. Voy a ver esta parte primero y luego bajo si quieren. Mm. Teacher, a mí me cuesta pronunciar este... En, cuando no se pronuncia una letra, ¿qué dijo usted? En, Play, employer, employer. Employer. Uh, esa, bueno, esa sí, pero yo creería que quizás es esta, mire. Comfortable. Ah, esa, cabal. Sí, esa. Ajá, comfortable. 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 Ok. Eh, sí, esa es un poco rara, pero se va a ir acostumbrando poco a poco. So, okay. any other? I'm sorry. Effectively. No. Effectively. Okay. Effectively. 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 That's Effect correct. Effectively. Good. Okay. Thank you. Teacher, not huh? sure. Ah, not sure. Ese, 
Sí, North South. Es el nombre de la sí, compañía. North South. Se menciona un par de veces por ahí. North yeah. como tres, tres, cuatro veces. North mm -hmm. es verdad. North South. North South. Sí, así como se ve ahí. North South. North South. Okay. North South. Uh -huh. Teacher, la, la D solo se pronuncia una vez en Norso. Sí, solo una, no hay más. Okay. Es que como hay dos al final. Sí, no, pero ahí no. A veces hay énfasis en la, en la palabra. Eso es lo que nos denota la doble D a veces. No oh. siempre es así. ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se pronuncia la frase final del primer párrafo? Uh, man, uh, managerial team. Mane ¿Cómo? Managerial team. Gracias. Ok. Managerial team. Good. Any other? Uh -huh. uh, some people understand Klingon or Klingon? Uh, Klingon. 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 Ok, thank you. Good. Teacher, mm -hmm. ¿es feedback o feedback? Um, any, any feedback en cuál número uno dos, you tres. will communicate no en, en, en el número dos yes, uh -huh. uh, you will communicate any feedback eh, al sí, final del la, número dos ah, sí, yeah, feedback. Sí, feedback 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 okay. ahí está feedback from feedback ya yeah. good any other Technical. En el mismo renglón, teacher. Number three. Number three. Upper. Ah, veamos esta primera. Technically. Ok. Technically. ¿Y la Technical. suya cuál era? Perdón. Technical. Upper. Es que está ah, en el... Esta. Upper. Ah, upper. Oh, upper. Okay. Ah, esta solo acuérdese que solo... Bueno, si solo decimos up. Así, ¿verdad? Upper. De ahí viene la palabra de up, upper. Ok. Good. Any other? When asked, teacher. Así está. When... Asked. No, asked. Esa es con ask. E, asked. Ask. No, me, no se menciona ni la E ni la D, sino que ask. Lo que pasa es que dice, ask. dice asked. ¿Verdad? La K y luego como una T. Ajá. Ajá. Lo que pasa es que ahí está en, en pasado, ¿verdad? Por eso tiene sí. la E y la D, ¿verdad? Exacto. Okay. De hecho, ya vamos a ir llegando a eso nuevamente para que mm -hmm. lo revisemos. Y hay tres tipos de pronunciación, okay. ¿verdad? Este es como T, asked. Asked. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Any other? ¿Alguna otra? Teacher en la 4 en el segundo párrafo de ese tú en cobrar. Vale, veamos ahora los otros. Eh, ¿Cuál sería? En ese tú en cobrar, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Ah, encourage. Gracias. Eh, encourage. Ok, questions here. Any other question? Was, was, was wrong. Ah, uh, washroom. In the, in the washroom. 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 Mm -hmm. mm. Wash de lavar. Exactly. Wash. Wash room de cuarto. Mm -hmm. Washroom. Any other pronunciation question? No more. Okay. Vamos a hacer una cosa. Voy a leer yo todo primero 
y luego vamos a iniciar las lecturas. Vamos a hacer una pausa cuando sean las nueve para pasar lista, to check the attendance, ¿ok? Uh, pongamos atención y vean cómo es la pronunciación corrido, ¿verdad? Sin que ustedes repitan. Be a people person. Nortzel is people and we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand Klingon better than English, you are not a good fit for our managerial team. Be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentations, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customers and provide status information when asked. Be technically proficient. The products we create at Nordsod are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C, but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And no, having watched Happy Feet and the March of the Penguins does not qualify you as technically proficiency, proficient in Linux. Encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important at Nordset. Not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at Nordset for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Lead by example. The best managers lead by example at North South. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and to be available to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees, and using the same washroom as your employees. It's all about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right thing. Very easy, my friends. Empezamos. Recordemos que la primera persona va a leer uno y dos y la segunda va a leer tres, cuatro y cinco. Okay. Let's start with Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado. Okay. The one and two. Mm -hmm. Be a people person. No sir, no sir is people and we are looking for manager. Who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict comfortable. resolution. Comfortable with conflict solution. You should know you should know how people work and work and know how to motivate your team. Motivate your team. Motivate your team. If you are better with computer. Better with computer. Better. Better with computer. Some people and understand Clinton better than English, you are not a good fit for our manager, manager, man, man, manager, no, manager, managerial team, managerial team. Number two, be a good, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods. Methods. Methods, including visual presentation, public, public 
speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face to face. Good communication, communication is a two-way trip. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and the team, the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback, 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 Good. feedback from upper management, 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 and and customer customers, customer and provides state status sta status information when asked very good perfect thank you alvaro very nice thank you oh. teacher thank you good jennifer torres three b technical profiles Proficient. the product profession the production we create our not for are technical complicated. You don't need to be able to call in C, but you should be able to give technical guidance, guidance. and decide guidance and decide the best strategies and method for success. And and no having watched happy feet or the march of the penguins does not qualify to as technical proficient in line for encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important and not for not only are you require, re re required require to encourage the best practice for building teamwork. You are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at Norfolk for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. By lead by example. The best managers lead by example and not for all managers are required to dress and act prof professional at our, our times and to be um, available. Available to give Guidance, guidance and help guidance guidance and help when when needed we need it yeah leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees parking with your employees and using the same washroom as your employees it's all about doing instead of quantifying Quantificating. Quantificator and doing the right thing. Very good. Perfect. Nice. Now we're going to start with Blanca Ruth Orantes. Uh, number one Be a people person. North is people. And we are looking for managers who like people. You should be con, con, comfortable. Comfortable. <laughs> comfortable. With conflict resolution, you should know 
how people work in now, how to moti motivate your team. If you are a better, better. Better, better with computer, thing can people in understand. Clean gun. Better thing than English. You are not a good fit for our manager. Manager. Managerial. Managerial. Managerial thing. Number two. Be a good communica communicator. You shall be able, able. to table to communicate effective, effectively, 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 effectively using all methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, in face to face good communication is a two way street. You will be required required to run run the nail of that your um, um, update update uh, update your employees. Employees on their and the team's performance. You will communicate communicate any feedback from upper management 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 in custom customer customers customers and pro Provide, provide, provide a status is or states status a status information when ask, asked. Very good, perfect, nice. Now the next part is going to be for Jennifer Torres. Ya mm, pasé, teacher. Ya pasó, es cierto, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Very good. Then Irving is ahí. Not possible for Irving. O oh, sí, ¿verdad? Ahí viene. Very good. Ruiz, right. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, be technic technically proficient. The product we create and also are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C, but you should to but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategy, strategies and methods for strategies and methods for success and not having watched happy feet or the march of the penguins does not qualify you are technically proficient in Linux. Number four, encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important and not so. Not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building teamwork, if you are considered a part of the team, you have no doors at no doors for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Staff lead by example. The best managers lead by example at no doors. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and to be a, to be to be available to give guidance and help when needed 
Leading by example means working late and on, and on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees, and using the same washroom as your employees. It is all about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right thing. Okay, very good, very nice. And now uh, Marlon Paniagua. Uh, yeah. One and two or, or one? Yeah. One and two. Okay. Be a people person. Norxod is people and we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with a conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand Klingon better than English, you are not a good fit for or esa palabra no sé cómo se dice. Managerial. Managerial team. Be good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively effectively using our methods method. Hola? methods method methods method including visually presentation public speaking email teleconference esa palabra cómo se pronuncia uh, which one uh... no teleconferencing Tele teleconferencing teleconferencing and face to face Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update, update your employers um, there and the teams, teams' performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customer and provide stat, status information information when ask very good nice now the next part is going to be for salvador bernal number three be be technical proficient the products we create at Northot are technical complicated. You don't need to be to be able to code in C. No sé cómo dice numeral. C, C is fine, don't worry. But you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategy in metal but sources. For success. Success. And no, having watching Happy Feet or the March of the Penguins does not qualify, qualify. qualify you as technical proficient, proficient. in Linux. Proficient in Linux. For in Encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important at Northsot. Not only are, are you re required to encourage the best practice for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at, at Northsot for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for manager. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Five, lead by, by example. The best manager lead by example at Norsoc. All managers are required to dress 
and act professionally at all, at, at all times and to be available available to, available to give guidance and help when needed leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees parking with your employees and using the same washroom as your employees it's all about doing instead of ponti pontificated and doing the right thing very good very nice Okay, number one and two are going to be for uh, Josman Serrano. Number one, be a people person. Norson is people and we are looking for manager who likes people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and not how the man motivated your team. If you are better, with your computer that people and understand Klingon better than English. Better. You are not a good better. Um, and not better than English. You are not a good fit for all managerial team. Number two, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate on effectively using whole Mid hot methods. Including methods. Include visual presentation, public speaking, emails, teleconference, and face to face. Good communication is two way street. You will be required to routinely uh on day your excuse me? Routinely routinely on this your employees employees on their and the teams perform you will communicate any feedback from upper upper management and customer and provide states information with Stand. thanks thanks oh. start very good perfect nice job jasmine Okay, number uh, three, four, and five is going to be for Karen Sanchez. Hello, Karen Sanchez. Okay, not possible. Entonces vamos a ir con Carlos Arias. Meet technical proficient. The product we create at Nostor are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to call in C hash, but you should be able to give technical uh, guidance and guidance. guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success and not having much happy speed or the march of the penguins does not qualify. You are technically a proficient in language. Encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important and network. Not only are you required to encourage in college, the best practice practices for building teamwork. You are considered a part of the team. We have no door at NASA for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space of for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Let the example. 
the best manager. This guy, this by example, at no all managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and available to give guidance and help when needed. Letting by example men working late and on weekends with your employees, working with your employees and using the same restroom and your employees. It's all about doing state and self complicating and doing the right thing. Very good, very nice, perfect. Uh, the next one uh, is going to be for Carlos Dominguez. Is possible for you? Yes. Okay. Uh, number one, be a people person. Norkson is people and we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfort comfortable 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 with comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know who people were and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computer than people and you understand the clean come better than English. You are not a good fit for our manager team. Number two, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their uh, team's performance. You will communicate and feedback from upper manager, management and customer and provide the status the information we ask, ask. Okay, very good, nice. Uh, the next one is going to be for Rolando Cáceres. Okay. Number three and number four. Three, four, and five. Okay. Number three, be technically proficient. 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 The products we create at Knox. Noxer are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C. Uh, I don't know what is the symbol. Eh, lo que pasa es que este es un lenguaje y ese lenguaje se llama C sharp. Así podemos decir C sharp. To code in C sharp, but you be sure to be able. You should, but you should be able to give you a technical. Guide how to how to pronounce guidance, guidance, and decide the best strategies and methods for su for success, and and not having watch happy feet on the on the march of the penguins does not quali qualify for as technical a technical profession in Linux. Number four, en, encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important and not to work. Not only, not only are not only are required to encourage the best practice for building teamwork. You are considered part of the team. We have no doors at Knoxford. For you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office, office space for management, for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Number five, lead by example. The best management, the best, the best manager, the best, man, the best manager lead by example at Noxor, all managers are required to dress and 
act professional. At all the time, at all time. And to be able to give you guidelines and help when when need when needed. Leading by examples means working late and weekends, working working late and on weekends with your employers. Parking with your employers and using the same washroom as your employers. It's all about doing in, instead of profiting and doing the right thing. Very good, nice. So let's see Edwin Antonio. Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, one and two, please. Okay, uh, be a people person. Noxel is people um, and we are looking for manager who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know <clears throat> how the people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better, pardon. You are better with computer than people and understand Klingon better than English. You, you are not a good fit for our managerial team. Be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to run return update your employees on their and the team's performance. You will, you will communicate and feedback from upper manager management and customer and provide status information when asked. Very good, very nice. Okay, number three, four, and five are going to be for Jocelyn Vasquez. Okay. Um, the products we create at North are technically com computer. Complicated. You don't need to be what? Complicated. Complicated. You don't need to be able to call in C, but you shall be able to give technical guidance and decide the best is como se pronuncia eso uh, cuál es la palabra perdón eh, the best es dice estrategias creo que strategies strategies y métodos methods and methods for success and not having quite happy fit or the march of the penguins does not qualify to qualify. us qualify to us technically proficient proficient in linux 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 yeah linux um for um, encourage encourage teamwork teamwork is important at nurse Nurse, not only are you are you required 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 
to encourage, encourage the best practice for building teamwork. You are consider 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 <clears throat> consider a part of the team. We have no doors at not sure uh, for you to hide behind. In fact, we have a traditional office space for managers who are required to sit and work with your staff. <clears throat> Lead by example, the best manager lead by example at uh, all managers managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and to be available to give guidance and help guidance guidance and help we needed a um, Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employers, parking with your employers, and using the same washroom as your employers. It's all about doing um, is some instead. Stand of pon pontificating, pontificating, and doing the right thing. Very good, very nice. Thank you. Okay, number one and two, uh, Fatima Noemi. Be a people person, Norton is. People and we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable. Comfortable. Comfortable with conflict resolution. You show now how people work and now how to motivate to them. Things. If you are better with computers than people and understand things better than English, you are not a good fit for our managerial team. Be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively. Um, using all methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconference, and face to face. Good communication is a two way street. You will be required to route. The nail update your employees on their and the team performance. You will communicate any feedback from after managers, management, management, and customers, and provide status information when asked. Very good, very nice. Number three, four, and five, uh, Brenda de Villa Toro. Uh, three? Three, four, and five, please. Oh my God, okay. Está más fácil ando hacia arriba. Me va ayudando, teacher, porque yo no puedo. Usted la hace de cabeza, que ahí le damos con todo. Ahí me va corrigiendo, por favor. Okay. Be technical pre profit. 
proficient. Proficient. The products we um, create at Norsot are technical, complicated. You don't need to be too able to come in such shorts, but you should be able to give, give or give. Give. Give technical guidance and guidance. 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 And the, <laughs> decide. Decide the best strategies um, methods for success. I'm not having question, happy feet, or the march of the penguins does not qualify. Qualify. Qualify you as technical proficient in the line. Four. Uh, encourage. encourage encourage teamwork teamwork is important as not so not, so, not only are you required to encourage no sé encourage Encourage, uh, encourage the best practices for building teamwork. You are considered a part of the team. We had no doors at Nuxer for you to hide behind. Behind. In fact, we had no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with, with your staff. Five, lead by example. The best managers lay be example of no Lead by example. Lead by. Example, okay, lead. Example, Agnoxor, our manager are, are required to dress on all uh, professionally at all times and to be available to give wearing and Guidance. hair. Guidance. Guidance. Guidance and help when needed. Leading be example. By example. My example. By example means at all times and to be. I know this to be my girlfriend. Means working lay and of weekend with your employees, parking with your employees, and using the same restroom as your employees, it's all about doing instead of con, no sé cómo se dice. pontificating. Pontificating. And die the round thing. Very good, nice. Ya veo que estaba fácil. Ay, sí, cómo no. <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> number, uh, well, number one and two, uh, Rosa del Carmen. Not possible, okay. Uh, 
Is there anybody else that's missing? Falta alguien más? Creo que no, ¿verdad? Karen Sánchez. No, everything. Okay. So, antes de continuar, vamos a check the attendance. Okay. Let's see how it goes. No quise interrumpir para que fuera fluido. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Presente, teacher. Good. Blanca y Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present teacher. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. Present teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Good. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Present, teacher. Good. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Ok. Uh, let's continue. Vamos a continuar con el ejercicio. Quizá una pregunta para todos. ¿Cómo lo sintieron? ¿Sintieron que estuvo fácil, difícil? Uh, ¿Comentarios del reading? Sí, teacher. Este, la verdad que no es complicado. Tal vez lo que tenemos que hacer nosotros es tomar en cuenta los puntos y las comas al momento de la lectura, porque ahí como que lo decimos un poco acelerado, nos trabamos, pero por eso siento yo que no okay. tomamos en cuenta eso en la lectura. Sí, la verdad. Pero es que lo demás, nada más, este, son ajustes. Sí. Ajustes eh, yo pensaría que en pronunciación estamos bastante bien, siempre hay unas palabritas por ahí, ¿verdad? Luego, uh, es normal lo que usted dice, es como cuando estábamos aprendiendo a leer en español, ¿verdad? Que leíamos así, de una vez corrido, sin pausas, pero ya después, ¿verdad? Ya va a ser súper fluido. Sí. Ok, estos son buenos ejercicios. These are good exercises for you to practice English. En general estuvo bastante bien, quizá un par de palabras. Recordemos, esta es managers. Ok, de manage, managers. Esta creo que es la que más cuesta, ¿verdad? Comfortable. 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 Ok, let's see. Motivate. Better. Um, let's see. Managerial. Communicate. Effectively. Teleconferencing. Routinely. Update. Feedback. Upper. Status. Proficient. Guidance. Qualify. Linux. Encourage. 
building behind required available pontificating esas hay que tener cuidado ahora veamos vocabulary we're going to check some vocabulary it says be a people person not so es el nombre de la compañía so vean esto es importante Nurture is people. Esto es un común, muy, muy común. Uh, es un error muy común cuando estamos aprendiendo de español a inglés. Uh, nosotros en español decimos la gente son, ¿verdad? Plural. En inglés no. People. Bueno, ahí dice people is, pero es people are. No, al revés es entonces. People en inglés casi siempre es are. Aquí porque estamos hablando de Nurture. Nurture es. Pero cuando hablamos acá, hablamos de people are. La gente es, decimos nosotros en, en español. Pero en inglés es people are, plural. Esto es muy importante. Uh, let's see. Vamos a checar algunas palabras. Managers. ¿Qué era managers? Gerente. Very good, gerente. Comfortable. ¿Qué es comfortable? Comfortable. Confortable, cómodo, nice. Eh, what is team? Equipo. Eh, equipo, very good. Klingon es un lenguaje que se, escupa, eh, se ocupa en una serie de ciencia ficción que se llama Star Trek. Entonces aquí es como que tenés que ser bueno comunicando, ¿verdad? O sea, si no sos bueno comunicando, eso es el mensaje de eso. Ok, better, ¿qué es better? Mejor, o mejor. Mejor, very good. Fit, ¿qué era fit? Ajustar. Ok, está bien. Ok, good. Acá dice managerial team, ese es como nuestro equipo gerencial, algo así. Uh, let's see what else. Face to face. ¿Qué es face to face? Cara a cara. Cara a cara. Cuando nosotros decimos en persona, ¿verdad? Allá no se dice en persona, sino que se dice face to face. ¿Ok? Y luego dice two-way street. Dice que es una calle de dos sentidos. Que se refiere que la comunicación es de, de escuchar y de hablar, ¿verdad? No solo de hablar. Routinely. What is routinely? Rutina sería. Rutinariamente, ¿verdad? Update, que sería un update. Como una actualización o. Very good. Actualizar, actualización. Uh, luego, alguna otra palabra. Feedback, eso saben ustedes que es feedback. Very good. Retroalimentación. Y luego dice upper management. Okay. Upper management se refiere a los puestos gerenciales más altos, ¿verdad? Porque puede ser de que haya gerentes o jefes intermedios o bajos, pero ahí son como que los, los de arriba del noveno piso. Uh, let's see what else. post queer not so technical, complicated. Este es C Sharp, que es un tipo de, de lenguaje de computación, de codificar, ¿verdad? Guidance, ¿qué es guidance? Yeah. Guiar. Eso sería. Very good. A ver, success ya lo vimos, ¿verdad? Um, qualify. What is qualify? Calificado. Calificar, very good. Proficient. What is proficient? Proficient es que es usted bueno en algo, ¿verdad? Que es 
que sabe mucho, mucho de algo. Encourage. What is encourage? Anybody? No. Animar. Animar, muy bien. Eh, así como empujar, así como ahora los... En el mundial ahí está la gente encouraging the team, ¿verdad? animando el equipo, empujándolo, de, diciéndole de ahí, tú sí puedes. Let's see. Require es requerido. Best practices. What is that? Buenas prácticas, como cuando nosotros decimos las buenas prácticas de algo, ¿verdad? Y luego dice for building teamwork. ¿Qué sería eso? De construir un grupo, un grupo de trabajo. Perfecto. Crear un grupo de trabajo. Very, very good. Uh, dice, hi, behind. What is behind? Atrás, very good. Yes. Uh, let's see. Available, what is available? Disponible. Very good, disponible. Otra vez, guidance, que sería guía. Washroom. ¿Salón de lavado? Ah, Un lavado, bien. ¿verdad? Ajá, es como donde la gente va al baño y se lava las manos o algo por el estilo. ¿verdad? Uh, pontificating. Ah, bueno, veamos primero instead. En lugar de. En lugar de. Very good. And now just pontificating. Creo que no hay una palabra exactamente para esto en español, pero algo así como cuando uno se exalza a uno solo, ¿verdad? Que uno dice, yo soy el mejor y esto y esto. Entonces, lo que dice al final es que, eh, que hay que dirigir por el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Que eh, va a parquearse con sus empleados, que va a trabajar tarde y, o quedarse los fines de semana a trabajar con los empleados. Que hay, que hay que dirigir con el ejemplo en vez de pontificarse, que sería algo así como exalzarse a uno mismo, ¿verdad? And doing the right thing, que sería hacer lo correcto. Very good. Any other question? Any other question here? Es que... Employees, teacher, se me ha olvidado. Employees. Employees es empleados. Empleados, ma. Yeah. Employees. ¿Cuál, perdón? What is that? Um... Oh, está bien, employees. Uh, sí, pero estaba preguntando aquí al compañero. ¿Cuál me dice? No le, no le entiendo cuál. Eh, la última línea del de chup. La última línea del... Ah, as. Cuando se le ha preguntado. Es el pasado de preguntar. Ok. Good. Any other? Teacher. Uh -huh. the, the number three. Uh -huh. uh, the feet of the march of the penguins. On the March of the, ah, okay. the Penguins. Penguins. Okay. Entonces, es que aquí se refiere a una película, o sea, que, que hay que ser, hay que saber mucho técnicamente, dice, y que ver la película de Happy Feet o la marcha de los pingüinos no los califica a ser eh, proficient en, y técnicamente conocedor, digamos, de Linux, que es un. Sistema operativo. Good. Any other? Any other questions? No more. Very good. So now we are going to do the exercise together, my friends. True or false, okay? 
So number one, it is more important to manage systems than people. De acuerdo a la lectura, ¿verdad? True or false? False. False. True. Very good. That is false. Yeah. Number two, to be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. What is tools? Anybody knows? Herramientas. Herramientas. Very good. So, number two, to be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. True or false? Aha, uh -huh. hello. True? True, that is true, very good. Number three, in order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is enough. True or false? In order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is enough. True or false? False. False. Uh -huh. It's true. Yeah, no les escucho. A ver, true or false? True. True. Okay. So, in order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is enough. The number three será, verdad? Oh. Uh, but this is false. Veamos lo que dice. In order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is enough. Lo que dice es que si en orden uh, para ser muy bueno técnicamente, dar la opinión es suficiente. So it's not. It's, it's false. false. Very good. Number four. Encouraging teamwork is an important as being part of the team, true or false? True. 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 Very good, that is true. Number true. five. Number five. If you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off. Uh, do you know what is skip? Mm -hmm. Saltarse. Evitar. Says, if you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off. False. False, definitely. This is false. Very good. Nice. El writing no lo vamos a hacer porque más adelante vamos a hacer uno de el presente simple. Very good. Aquí terminamos la unidad uno. Very nice, my friends. Very good. Now, for the class of tonight also we need to remember we need to remember the simple present tense ok pregunta para todos ¿cuándo utilizamos el presente simple? Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo se utiliza el presente simple? ¿En qué situaciones? Lo que estoy haciendo en el momento, lo que estoy, lo que está sucediendo. Lo que estoy haciendo en el momento. ¿Qué dice el público? ¿Qué es? Eh, no, va a ser el presente perfecto. Perdón. Ah, ¿cómo? Ah, ¿Alguien dijo ahí algo? Actividades cotidianas. Very good. Cotidianas, hábitos, rutinas, hechos. No para el momento, porque cuando es el momento es como cuando yo digo, yo estoy comiendo pizza, ¿verdad? Yo tengo la pizza ahí en la mano. Pero este es, es el otro. presente. Ajá, ese es otro presente que ya lo vamos a ver. Pero el presente simple es para rutinas, hábitos, hechos. Como cuando yo digo, yo como pizza, pero no estoy comiendo ahorita, ¿verdad? Yo como, a mí me gusta. Lo hago de repente, ¿verdad? So, that is it. 
So, eso es lo primero que tenemos que recordar. This is very important, ¿verdad? Hechos, rutinas, hábitos, cosas cotidianas. Very good. Lo siguiente, las reglas de presente simple. ¿Cómo es la forma afirmativa? ¿Qué reglas tenemos para el presente simple? Auxiliar do ideas. Ese es para negativo y pregunta. Muy bien. Auxiliar no. do y does. A ver, en el afirmativo, ¿qué es lo que pasa? Para las terceras personas le agregamos S, E, S a los verbos. Muy bien. A los verbos cambian en el afirmativo, ¿verdad? No es plural, recordemos, no es plural, sino que es la manera de conjugar los verbos en inglés. Le agregamos S al verbo en las terceras personas, que son he, she, it, en el afirmativo nada más. Eso es muy importante y hay que recordarlo. Y además, hay algunos verbos a los que no les agrego S, sino que les agrego ES. ¿A cuáles les agrego ES? ¿Plural? No, los verbos no tienen plural. No, a los que terminan con Y. Ah, por ahí va el asunto, ¿verdad? Va con los de Y, las de Y, depende. Por ejemplo, play es place, con S nada más. Study es studies. Le quito la Y y le agrego IES. ¿Cuál es la regla? Y si no se la saben, la apuntan porque hay que aprenderse, la verdad. Eh, los que terminan en Y, si antes de la Y llevo una vocal, solo le agrego S. Play, oiga, la A. Y luego la Y. Play, place. Solo es. Pero si lleva o termina en una Y. Y antes de la Y o Y va una consonante. Entonces yo le muevo esa y le pongo eh, IES. ¿verdad? Como study. Study, le quito la Y y le pongo IES. That will be it. Pero hay otros que le agrego S. ¿Cuáles son esos? Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá. De tercera persona. Ah, no, a todos de la tercera persona yo sé que le voy a agregar algo al verbo. Pero ¿a cuáles le agrego S en vez de S? Al he, she. A todos, a he, she, it, a todos los verbos le voy a agregar S o S. La pregunta es, ¿a cuáles de esos les agrego S y no solo S? También a los que terminan en CH, SH. Perfecto, ahí está parte de la respuesta. Very good, Salvador. Los que terminan, vea bien, los que terminan en X, SS, SH, CH y O. A esos les agrego S. Por ejemplo, go es goes con S. Ahí tenemos un ejemplo, de hecho, ¿verdad? que nos dijeron de auxiliar. Do es does con S. Fix es fixes porque termina en X. Watch es watches con S porque termina en CH. Wash es washes porque termina en SH. Miss es misses porque termina en SS. Si se dan cuenta, si se, se aprenden esa regla, es más fácil que aprenderse todos los verbos, ¿verdad? Los que terminan en SS, SH, CH, X, O, yo les voy a agregar S y no les voy a agregar solo S. Eso es importante. Y a todos los verbos en afirmativo, cuando es terceras personas, yo cambio el verbo. No es plural, sino que simplemente así se conjuga el verbo. Y como ya me adelantaron por ahí, negativo se, se usa el auxiliar, ¿verdad? En todas las negativas y en todas las preguntas, yo utilizo un auxiliar, en todas. Lo único que en las terceras personas, 
en lugar de cambiar el verbo, o sea, nunca en negativo y en pregunta voy a cambiar el verbo, jamás. Lo que yo voy a cambiar es el auxiliar. Siempre cambia solamente el auxiliar. Y ahí en la tablita tenemos un ejemplo con un verbo nada más. I start, no cambia, ¿verdad? I don't start. Do I start? Vea que siempre lleva auxiliar. Do it. You start. You don't start. Do you start? Ah, el siguiente ya es tercera persona. Very good. He starts. Ese, ¿verdad? He doesn't start. Cambia el auxiliar, el verbo no cambia. Does he start? Cambia el auxiliar, el verbo no cambia. Lo mismo con el siguiente. She starts. She doesn't start. Does she start? Y lo mismo también con el de las... Yo sé que en español no usamos eso mucho, ¿verdad? Eso, así como eso. Pero en inglés sí, siempre tiene que llevar un sujeto. It starts. It doesn't start. Does it start? Esos tres hay que poner mucho cuidado. Más que todo a la hora de hablar, que se nos olvida, ¿verdad? La S se nos olvida y ya está malo todo. Imagínense qué importante es. So the next one it says, we start. No cambia nada. We don't start. Do we start? Y la última siempre usamos dos veces you porque una es tú y la otra es ustedes, plural. You start. You don't start. Do you start? Eso es todo el presente simple. Si nos aprendemos eso, aprendemos todo el presente simple. ¿Y cuándo se usa? ¿Verdad? ¿Cuándo se usa? Y las reglas. Y luego a practicar. That is the only thing that we need to do, to practice. Preguntas o dudas? Do you have any questions with the simple present tense? Salvador. ¿Cómo hacer para distinguir la pronunciación cuando llevan solo la S y cuando llevan la ES? ¿Hay algún tips para eso? Simplemente sabiendo la terminación del verbo. Ese sería, ¿verdad? Si usted sabe que es wash, el otro es washes. Casi siempre, eh, si lleva S, va a cambiar, ¿verdad? De wash a washes. Watch, watches. Miss, misses. Eh, en cuanto a pronunciación, eso sería. En cuanto a cuándo lleva la ES, simplemente la regla que acabamos de discutir. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question with the simple present tense? No questions. Ah, vamos a ver si es cierto. Ajá. This is the moment of the practice. Vamos a practicar, ¿verdad? Porque si no hay preguntas y se entendió todo, es el momento de, de sacar la casta de campeón. Vamos a ver. Yo les voy a decir el verbo y la persona con la que ustedes van a hacer una oración en presente simple. Y me la van a decir. That's the only thing. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Por ejemplo, imagínense que yo vengo y le pregunto a alguien y le digo, ah, vaya, quiero una oración que lleva el verbo do y la persona she. Afirmativa, le voy a decir, o negativa, o pregunta. Pero en este caso, digamos que afirmativa. Do, she, afirmativo. Entonces va a venir la persona a la que le pregunto y me va a decir, ah, oh, ok, ahorita se la digo, ¿verdad? She does her homework. Very easy. Si le hubiera dicho negativa, she doesn't do her homework. Y si le hubiera dicho pregunta, does she do her homework? That is the only thing. Eso es lo que vamos a practicar ahorita para ya mañana hacer una práctica un poco más extensa. Very nice. A ver, a todos le voy a preguntar. Tenemos tiempo, digo yo. Josman Serrano. Él me dijo que quería ser el primero. <risa> Present. Ok, so, dígame, una oración con el verbo go y el sujeto he en afirmativo. Ok. 
He goes to the party. Very good. Perfect. He goes to the party. I cannot invite the verdad. He goes to the party. That will be it. nice. Good job, uh, Justman. A ver, ahora le toca a Carlos Arias. Hello, Charlie. Ok, veamos. A usted le toca una oración con el verbo. A ver, write y you en afirmativo. You write now. Write it now. Ok, you write. Something like that. Very good. Nice. Perfect. Fácil. A ver, Jennifer me dijo que quería participar. Jennifer. A ver, a usted le toca el verbo run con el sujeto she y en pregunta. Ajá, Jennifer. Podría ser, does she run in the morning? Very good. Does she run in the morning? Ahí está, bien fácil. ¿verdad? No, si mañana vamos a echar unas grandes platicadas. Salvador Bernal. Que a usted le toca el verbo, a ver, cook. Y en el sujeto, we. Y en negativo. We, we don't cook a cake. Very good. We don't cook a cake. Nice. Very good. A ver, Álvaro Ernesto. A usted le toca el verbo, a ver, sleep, con sleep. el sujeto you, y en, en pregunta. Ok. Sleep dijo y you. Sleep, you, y pregunta. You. Uh, you, ok. En pregunta. Do you do you sleep tomorrow? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Nice. Nice. Very good. Está correcto. Hasta mañana. <laughs> A ver, Marlon Paniagua. Sí, teacher. A ver, a usted le toca el verbo eat con el sujeto a uh, eat. Qué chistoso. Eat, eat. Y luego eh, lo va a hacer en, en negativa. Ok. It doesn't eat the, the soup. It doesn't eat the soup. Very good. Sí, está fácil. Very nice. A ver, um, ¿qué le preguntamos ahora? Jocelyn Vázquez. Sí. A ver, a usted le toca el verbo watch con el sujeto he y en afirmativa. He watches the movie. Very good. He watches. Esa lleva S, ¿verdad? He watches the movie. Good, good. A ver, Brenda de Villatoro. Hello. Ok. Vaya, a usted le toca el verbo, a ver, el verbo walk. Y en, con el sujeto they en pregunta. They y el verbo. El verbo es walk. ¿Qué significa? Ajá. Eh, no 
sé qué significa la palabra huasca. Caminar. Ah. Caminar. Ajá. Pase el siguiente. No, a usted, si a usted le toca, este es su turno. Es su momento de brillar. Usted trate y le vamos a ayudar. Okay. Es pregunta con Day y con Walk. Va, en una pregunta que va primero. El, el, el auxiliar. El auxiliar, ¿y cuál es el auxiliar que va a utilizar? Do. Do, vaya. Y luego, ¿qué vamos a poner? Do. No. Do, ¿cuál? Uh -huh. No, ahí no. Después sí. del auxiliar va el sujeto. ¿Cuál es el sujeto ahí? They. Do they, ¿y luego? Do they, igual. Y de allí algún complemento que usted quiera poner, ¿verdad? Lo que usted quiera. Por ejemplo, do mm. they walk in the park? Fácil. Mm -hmm. Ya veo que estaba fácil. Gracias, teacher. Ok, we are going to finish. Vamos a ir terminando entonces. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta o duda? Before we finish, do you have any questions? For women, no question. No, teacher. Eh, eh, siento yo de que es más complicado el afirmativo que que pregunta y, y negativo dice que sí, tiene razón ahora eh, um, la práctica verdad yo creo que todos conocemos ya las reglas, las repasamos ahorita y hay que empezar a hablar verdad hay que meterlo, en cuanto más lo metamos más se nos va a ir quitando ahí esos errores, pero es normal esto el proceso ahorita vamos bien ok, okay let's, teach. Very good. let's check the attendance um, eh, el bueno one de ahora le toca a Carlos Arias. Y eh, vamos a ver, Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Presente, teacher. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Present, teacher. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present, teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Present, teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present teacher. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. Present teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Good. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Here I am. Good. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Recordemos que mañana no hay clase. Vacation. Recordemos que el jueves sí hay clase normal de ahí en adelante, ¿verdad? Entonces, igual vamos a poner ahí en el chat que no hay clase mañana, pero que el jueves sí. My friends, was a pleasure to be with you. Have a good night. See you on Thursday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Dream in English. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. See you later. See you later. Hello, how are you, Carlos? I'm very well. Eh, fíjese, bueno, le voy a explicar más o menos. Los 101 eh, del inglés para el trabajo funcionan así. Nos quedamos unos minutitos hasta las 10, 10. Y pues, eh, lo primero que yo le pregunto es si usted tiene preguntas, dudas, de lo que hemos visto o lo que haya visto antes en inglés. O alguna pregunta que usted siempre haya tenido y que quiera que la resolvamos. Eh, no, se pregunta, podría decir que no solo una cosa, que en mi caso tengo como un problema como de atención, entonces suelo distraerme mucho en, antes de saber problemas, pero trato de tener la mayor atención que pueda y practicar en, la, en el tiempo que puedo. Ok, ok. Uh, yo la verdad es que siento que va bastante bien. Uh, cuando lo escuché leer y cuando habla, se escucha bastante bien. No difference. So that is very good. Uh, ¿Y cómo siente que va con las clases? ¿Siente que va aprendiendo, que va agarrando algo? Sí, en específico sí, porque eh, los cursos anteriores yo me quedé ahorita en el intermedio, eh, en el módulo 3, y de ahí me mandaron para acá. Entonces siento que aprendo más en el de dos horas a comparación de una sola hora, en el cual los temas los repasamos mucho más rápido. En cambio, acá lo, lo podemos eh, desarrollar un poco más, con más calma. Definitivamente, sí, al tener más tiempo, pues nos enfocamos en ciertos temas y en práctica, o sea, tenemos chance de hablar de repente, de hacer muchas cosas. Entonces, me alegra pues de que vaya aprendiendo y que vaya pues mejorando. Eh, como tips, pues hay que leer mucho en inglés. Eh, cada quien creo que ya sabe más o menos cómo aprende, pero los videos ayudan mucho. Despacio, ¿verdad? videos que no sean muy avanzados. Eh, lecturas también, vocabulario, quizá una de las mejores recomendaciones que yo le hago a los compañeros que están aprendiendo es que piense en inglés. Usted va a cocinar algo, anda en su casa y anda buscando algo en inglés. De repente hay una palabra que no sabe cómo se dice, va, la busca en el diccionario, se la aprende y la empieza a, a usar en su, en su rutina diaria. Así si usted lo hace, el vocabulario se va a incrementar muchísimo y si lo va uniendo con las prácticas de inglés de las clases, es going to be exercise. Ok, thank you. Eh, una de las otras recomendaciones que me dieron es aprenderme por lo menos una o dos, tres, o tres palabras al día, que día a día voy conociendo más palabras y después mi, mi vocabulario va a ser mucho más amplio y por las palabras que ya conozco. Definitivamente. El vocabulario en su nivel es bastante importante y luego ya empezar a dejar de pensar en, en español. Eso es bien básico. Sí. Eso sí, ok. Claro. Very good. It's nice. Eh, ¿Tiene alguna otra pregunta, duda? No, Por el momento no. Perfecto. Igual recuerde que en la clase si tiene preguntas me puede preguntar y también eh, en el chat, ¿verdad? Me puede preguntar ya sea en el chat grupal o directamente y con gusto. Ok, perfecto. Okay, it was a pleasure. So see you on Thursday and have a good night. Good night. Good night.